In this video, I'm going to show you how to get The Simpsons Hit and Run up and running on the Xbox Series X and S. The Simpsons have been around for decades, and it's just never been a franchise that I've really been that interested in. I know, blasphemy and all that, but a lot of people have really loved The Simpsons Hit and Run as a game, and it's one that I've, again, never experienced for not caring about the franchise a whole lot. But thanks to 3UR, the Simpsons Hit and Run is now available natively on Xbox Series X and S consoles in dev mode. And this one is really easy to set up, so let's go ahead and dive in. So before we get started, you are going to need to ensure that you have your Xbox Series X and S console signed up for developer mode. So if you haven't done this already, link to my guide in the description below will be available for you to follow along with to get that set up. Once you have dev mode set up, go ahead and get it booted up. Now, a quick note, if you have been installing stuff into dev mode and you never expanded its storage, you might need to do so for this project. This is well over two gigs of storage needed. So if you have a bunch of apps installed like RetroArch and XBSX 2.0 and a bunch of other things, you might not have enough space remaining on the default five gig install. So to adjust this, just press the menu button, manage dev storage, and then set this up to something like 10 gigs. Just give yourself double the space you originally had. Now do note that changing the dev storage size will delete everything that you currently have on dev mode. So if you don't want to deal with that, don't do this. But again, it might be necessary if you want to run this in the first place. So just be warned. But from here, let's go ahead and get the Simpsons hit and run downloaded. So we're gonna head to the dev store, link in the description below. And we're just gonna go ahead and scroll down until we find The Simpsons Hit and Run. Now we're just gonna click on the official page. We're gonna go to the latest releases and we're gonna grab the latest version. So we're just gonna download the bundle here. And again, see it's almost two gigs. Now, once again, on your Xbox dev mode home screen, make note of your remote access IP address and get that entered into a web browser on your device that you just downloaded the Simpsons hit and run on. Now under my games and apps, just go ahead and click on add. We're gonna choose a file, navigate to where you have the game stored to, and then just select it and click on next to begin the install process. There's no dependencies for this one, so just go ahead and click on start. And again, it will take a bit because this is a much larger package than most dev mode installs. And once that finally finishes up, just go ahead and click on done and we are done with the Xbox device portal. Now back over on the Xbox, we're gonna head down to the Simpsons hit and run, hit the view button on our controller to view the details of the game itself. And we're gonna change the UWP type from app to game. And then I always like to do a console restart after this, Probably is not necessary, but it's just a thing for me. All right, so now that the console's rebooted, we can just head down and launch the game. So the fun thing, this port is based on what seems to be the original Xbox version, so everything is already ready to go for playing on the Xbox Series X and S. All the button prompts are correct, it's just pretty nice. But yeah, for the most part, things are running pretty smooth. Couple hitches here and there, some graphical hiccups here and there, but overall, very playable experience. This is only compatible with Xbox Series X and S consoles. It is not compatible with any Xbox One systems at the moment. And it is also worth noting that there is a memory leak in the game, so it will eventually cause a hard crash, so make sure you are saving often. But otherwise, it is just another way to experience The Simpsons Hit and Run 
if you didn't want to emulate it on PS2 or GameCube. And again, I've never played this game, so I have no idea how to play it properly. So, you know, good times. But that is essentially it. Like, you are just able to play through The Simpsons Hit and Run on your Series X and S without any other additional emulators. So there you have it. The Simpsons Hit and Run up and running on an Xbox Series X and S. Overall, a pretty cool experience, especially given the fact that it is based on the source code of what seems to be the original Xbox version, and it doesn't require any additional emulators to run. But thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope you have found it informative, and if you are a fan of The Simpsons Hit and Run, just another way to experience the game. But here at the end of the video, just the usual favors to ask. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like this one. And please be sure to hit that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. Now, if you'd like to further support the channel, ensure that these tutorials keep going into the future, please consider hitting that join button here on YouTube or that Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help keep us going and be a part of choosing some of the content that appears on the channel, such as our weekly retro reviews. Big thank you to all of our current backers. We could not do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.